Okay, today I've been servicing this beautiful national U.S. radiator gas boiler with a million BTU output. Power down everything. Everybody does this differently, but we're gonna have to oil some pumps. So you have two spots. This is gonna be hard for me to show you. I might need to get a step stool. I'm in. Let that hang out. Let's see what do we have here. Look at the ladder. Try to go a little higher. This isn't going to really help much, but. Maybe you guys will see better than I can, but motor's up. Okay, hold up. I shouldn't be getting energized, but I guess it is. You never want to do this while it's energized. Sump pump, control panel, circulator pump, zone two. Nope. One. Oh, four is future. There we go. Okay. So you have your three spots to oil. You got the front. This one in the back. So you get into the hole. What you want to do is a quick one, two. Same here. One, two. Okay. This spot. See the condition. Just because I'm behind the door, I hate to lock the guy out of here, but I don't need him opening the door and knocking me off the ladder. This is our bearing assembly. We're going to want to make sure. Oh, we're crusty. Okay. I wonder if this one works. Looks like we might have a slight leak. This one, one, two, three. You're gonna wanna make sure you're oiled. Okay. I'm gonna have to see, this bearing assembly might have to be replaced. And that's why you wanna open them up. And if this doesn't sit down, it's not in the right position, but you shouldn't have that crust inside. That's letting me know that I have an internal leak inside. Well, I guess the first time. Oh, that's the right way on. There we go. Okay, let's pull this one. Do the same thing. That other pump. You can oil through that hole, but this one looks a lot better. Put the oil out one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. You'll know you're in because you can't go anywhere. Okay. One, two, three. 
Now the back for it. I like to put the plugs back in. But this and whoever was taking care of this before me lost them. <laughs> A lot of times you get more room to work on these. Here you don't. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also breaking asbestos up as I'm doing this. But whatever. Get the hose back in. Some people show you this stuff in a lab. They're not showing you real world stuff. It's always behind the VX connector. Okay, I right. So it keeps it interesting. One, two, three. Perfect. Ugh. As the offices had to test that. Whew. My red cat. So I'm not spilling. First thing first, start our pilot. <sighs> pilot is lit. Let that burn for a few seconds. I've got a power pile on the system, as you can see. It's a 1967 boiler. This thing's a friggin' beauty. Look at cast iron burners. They don't make them like this no more. Solid, where you can actually just take these plates off. For your service, pull them out. Clean them off. And then put them back.
I get everything back in. Whew. I gotta watch. one Gas back on. Oh, I dropped my orange. <sighs> At least it's got skin on it. To that. that sounds hollow. Maybe I don't have to. Okay, so let's put my pumps back on. <sighs> I'm not seeing any water leaking out of this guy at least. Okay. Main gas. did just disturb so much dust so that flame is going to be extremely yellow at first and it should turn blue i know we're sideways right now but that's how i am as you can see that side's going blue already all in the far end i never lit the other pilot either so that was my fault for that flare up. Because you have a pilot here, a pilot there, 
there's your thermal pile so if it's not sensing anything the gas valve won't open but this is here to allow this side to light yeah that's quickly as we're going down All the residual gas has to burn. Okay. So now from, let's light it correctly. You still get the flash out, but remember that metal door is closing this. And that flame looks so much better. more blue yes it's going to be yellow as it goes up high but off the burner itself it's pretty blue all my burners are in place yes yeah, so always make sure everything's in place it's sat correctly that your gas is going into your burner because the post tubes are carrying a lot of gas in there. Oh, I'm gonna, I have a bunch of stuff, zones to test out, to make sure everything heats up. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure this morning. I just wanted to show off this beautiful piece of history, this natural US radiator gas boiler. I gotta get my external gauge, hook it up, make sure I got the right water pressure inside of here because that's critical on here. You can see my gas valves. Until next time.